The Superintendent's Art Show is really the culmination of um, the year where every school in Marion County submits one piece to this show. How each school picks that one piece is really up to the individual art teacher or administration. For me, because I work so closely with my students, I did not want to be the one to, take, to choose the piece. So for this year, I laid out approximately 20 pieces, about one per one of my students in this room that you're looking at right now, um, and I had the staff and administration vote. So the top seven, the six pieces underneath the top piece went to the Young and Art, which is still displayed at the Appleton. And the piece that got the most votes became the superintendent's art piece. So it, I, I would agree with their voting of my fellow Panthers. Um, and yeah, so every school does it differently, but that's how we did it here. I was happy, first of all, but I didn't really believe I should have gotten first. You know, I feel like other people had the chance to. Um, I wasn't quite hopeful before that, but I'm just happy I won it because I tried so hard on it. It's been so long. It's been a lot of like just ripping out papers and my sketchbook. Because first I start off with um, just, just random sketches to start off my thinking process. Then I thought of Jacob for it. I mean, I came up with it on the spot, basically. It took around like seven days. It just took a long time because um, it was like near last second. <laughs> I, I think watching the students go from a concept and build it and spend the time and the effort and sometimes the tears <laughs> to get to the very best that they can do. And to be able to find this student and tell them that they got the top vote and they're going to the superintendent's art show and they're going to get the certificate and they get to meet the superintendent, get up on stage. And it's, 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 I think it's a little anxiety ridden for them. Um, of course, exciting for me because I, I just can't wait to tell them. In fact, I think I called Antonio from this room to another room because I couldn't wait that long to see him. My students work really hard and I'm proud of all of them. And um, I'm glad I didn't have to be the one to choose the top piece.